Hi guys, today I am going to discuss with you how to detect a cycle in directed graph with the help of DFS traversal. We have already discussed how to dis uh, detect a cycle in undirected graph with the help of BFS traversal, breadth first search. If you want to check out that video, I will provide you the link in the description box. So here we have uh, one directed graph, I am going to take small graph having containing one cycle. Okay. Now after applying that particular logic, this graph should return yes true, I mean uh, this graph should return true, yes it contains a cycle, otherwise false, this graph does not contain a cycle. Okay. Now for DFS traversal, which data structure is <coughs> to be used? We use what? Stack data structure. So we are going to maintain one stack and here you can say we will write the variable which has been visited or traversed or you can uh, take that color coloring method maybe visited set ke liye color would, would be blue or unvisited ke liye color would be red something like that okay i am going to write the vertices which are visited here and one thing i am going to maintain is that is one parent map table okay fine here we will write the vertex and here we will write parent of that vertex and one more thing we are going to use, we are going to use one vari variable that is flag variable and flag variable is having value minus 1, 0 and 1. Flag variable minus 1, value is again min in minus 1, in, the, uh, in that case it means that particular vertex is unvisited. If value is 0, then that particular vertex has been visited and that vertex is in this stack and if flag value is 1 then that vertex is visited and has been popped out from stack means that vertex is not in the stack anymore so three uh, values will use for this variable flag variable okay now uh, at starting every node is having flag minus 1 because no vertex is visited every vertex is unvisited now now we are going to start suppose from A, we are, I am going to take the vert, uh, source vertex A, you can take any vertex as a source vertex and start your DFS traversal from any node. I am going to take A as a source vertex. First of all, what will be there? A would be put into the stack and the flag of A becomes 0 and A is now visited. Fine. Now we will also write vertex as A, parent of A is what? Nothing because A is a source vertex. Next, find out the descent of A. One is B and one is C. So, we will take either B or C. I hope you know the concept of DFS traversal. Uh, if you don't know, then I will provide you the link in the description box. You can check out how DFS traversal works. So, I am going to take suppose B. So, we will push B in the stack and this flag value becomes 0 and B is visited as well as the parent of vertex is B, parent of B is what? From where did this vertex come? From A. We are going to maintain this one also. Now we are at B. Check out the descent of B. One is D and one is C. So you can go either to this direction or this direction. Suppose I am taking C. I am going to the, in this direction. Flag of C becomes 0 and C is now visited. And for C, what is the parent node? That is B. Fine. Next. Check out the adjacent vertices of C. Can you go further from C? No, we don't go any, there is no adjacent vertices of C, no outgoing edge from C. So that is a dead end, we have to backtrack. Now how you will get to know that from C, will you go to B or will you go to A? See the simple funda is you have to check out the stack and then you will come to know that from C where you have to. Now next step is what? If you have reached to a dead end, then check out the top of the stack and remove it. Remove the top of the stack. So, so you can say pop out that vertex from this stack. Now C has been popped out. If C has been popped out, then the flag of C becomes what? 1 now. Now check out the next top of the stack that is B. Now we have to backtrack to B. This will tell you. Okay. Now 
uh, check out the adjacent vertices of D. Still remaining, yes, we have one vertex D and we can push this vertex into this stack because flag is minus one. Minus one means that vertex is unvisited. If any word, uh, adjacent vertex is having flag minus one, then only you can push that vertex into this stack. If B is having adjacent uh, vertex flag zero or one, something like that, then we will not able to push those vertices into this stack. Now D is having uh, value minus one, then we will push D into this stack and D is now visited and the flag becomes zero. Now find out for D adjacent vertex is one that is E and flag is minus one. So we can push that vertex into this stack, no problem. Then value becomes zero, E has been pushed into this and here E has been visited. Yeah, I will also maintain the stack. When we were when we were at D, then the parent was B. Sath sath apko ye bhi maintain karna hai. And now we are at E. So the parent of E is what? D. Fine. Now, from E, is there any adjacent vertex? Yes, we have one vertex that is B. But we cannot push B into this stack. Why so? Because flag of B is what? zero if flag is zero it means that vertex is visited and in this stack so we cannot push again b into this stack so that the condition is uh, when you write that program of dfs traversal you have to modify one thing you have to add one condition if any vertex finds its adjacent vertex with flag zero it means that graph contains a cycle fine E to B, B is zero, it means this graph contains a cycle, it should return true. Now how you will get to know that which nodes are there in this cycle? Now E to B, see E, B, when you go from E to B then, then of course this edge should be in that cycle because when you uh, reached out from E to B, then we find out that the flag of B is what zero and this B is already in this stack. So that edge from E to B, E to B is in, is in the cycle. Now E to B, now E check out that uh, parent of E from this table. Parent of E is what? D means E came from D. So D E would be in that cycle. Now check out parent of D. Parent of D is what? B means D comes out from B. So B D this edge will also in that cycle and we have reached to a point B where we have where we have stopped. So this, these edges will form a cycle B D T E and E B. B D D E and E B. So this is a cycle. Fine. Now if you remove, suppose if you remove this edge, now there is no cycle in this graph. Now let us check out our logic is working or not. If you have removed this, this one, now we have reached to E, now check out the adjacent vertices of E. Is there any adjacent vertex of E? No, there is no one. So what is the next step? Pop out this E from this stack and the flag becomes one. Now check out the next vertex D. Now we have to backtrack to D. Check out D is having any adjacent vertex, vertices which is still unvisited having flag value minus one. No, we don't have. Then D will also be popped out and this becomes what? One. Next top is what? B. We have to backtrack to B now. Now B is not having any vertex which is still any adjacent vertex which is still unvisited. No. Now remove this B from this stack and the top of the stack is now A. Now we have to backtrack to A. Is there any vertex of A, adjacent vertex of A which is still unvisited? No, we don't have then this would be removed and if the stack is empty, it means it is the signal that we have to stop the DFS algorithm. So in that case, we didn't find any cycle. Fine. And if you add, if you add this edge, then it will form a cycle and this is how you will uh, you will uh, find out that this graph contains a cycle or not. So you have to add simply one condition in DFS traversal. If any vertex find its adjacent vertex with flag zero, 
it means this graph that graph contains a cycle and to find out the edges in that cycle you have to trace back your steps find using this parent table and the time complexity to find out cycle uh, in a directed graph using dfs traversal is v plus e in the worst case maybe uh, in the worst case means maybe uh, there is a graph uh, in which you are you are applying dfs traversal on that graph and at last after traversing every vertex and every edge at last you come you come to know that there is a cycle see that is the worst case so v plus e this is the time complexity order of v plus e fine so i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care